Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all a bunch of affordable makeup that I absolutely adore. You guys know on my channel, it's very important to me that I love the makeup formulas themselves. I think that, you know, buying affordable makeup for the sake of it being affordable is counterintuitive. At the end of the day, I think that there are some really incredible affordable formulas out there, but I don't love any of these products because they are affordable. The number one reason I love them is because I really stand behind the formulas and that's kind of the stance that I take on my channel. So we are going to be talking about some e.l.f., some Milani, and also some Beauty Pie. They are sponsoring a portion of today's video. These products, you guys, they've really, really blown me away and I'm excited to dive in. But let me know down below what your like holy grail affordable favorites are. I definitely want to do another video in this in this genre like every one to two months on my channel. I really want to be on the lookout for those really incredible steel products. So let's first talk about some Beauty Pie. If you guys aren't familiar with Beauty Pie, it's not complicated. It is just a membership club. So you pay annually and then you have access to some pretty insanely gorgeous formulas at a more affordable price. So there aren't like the crazy retail markups because they are just lab to warehouse products. So for example, one of the products I will talk to you guys about is the Luminizing Wand. This is typically $30 at retail, but it is under $10 through their membership. It is insane that you can get such high quality products at such an affordable price. The membership is $59 a year, and if you use my discount, you can also get a discount on that membership. Honestly, even without the discount, I would happily pay that membership price. They sent me a bunch of products to try out, but I really wanted to kind of zero in on these favorites. So first of all, right out of the gate, you guys know that I am a big lover of cream eyeshadow. It is definitely difficult to find a good affordable cream eyeshadow, especially one that blends really seamlessly and just has that really luxurious formula. Well, I am very happy to report that Beauty Pie has some pretty exceptional eyeshadow sticks. These are the Wonder Color Longwear Cream Shadow Sticks. They retail for $30, but on their website, they are $7.53. I have three different shades. I have the shade Huntress, Brazilian Air, and N Taupe. I'm wearing Huntress and N Taupe on my eyes today, so I will show you that demo. They scribble onto the eyes so creamily, and they really also stick where you put them, so I really enjoy that the the formula is both long wearing but also glides really effortlessly and beautifully on the eyes in specific so I love these more like soft metallics they're going to look really beautiful on everyone for pretty much every day so Huntress and Brazilian are, are really pretty for that just soft satin shimmer but honestly I mean you guys know it's very difficult to be able to come up with a matte formula that is blendable seamless gives you enough time to do that blending and Beauty Pie has definitely managed to do that. I definitely want to try out some of the other matte shades because N Taupe, this is just such a perfect color to put into the crease and just give you that base to work with. I'm just going to throw it out there too that these, like the packaging feels insanely luxe. You guys, I can look past packaging if the formula is really beautiful, but it's just nice that I don't have to pick. The next product on my eyes today is, is the Ultra Color Pro Gel Liner, and I use the shade Copper Hazy. These are just incredibly smooth, and they have a really, really nice buttery texture to them. So they're perfect if you like that more smudgy look that I like on the outer corners of my eyes. I also use them in the waterline and they stay really well too. So I have the shade, like I said, Copper Hazy. And then if I want a little bit more of a almost like vintage gold look, the shade Molten Bronze is very beautiful. Retail, these would be $25, but you can get them for $7.23. So easy for just that like pretty smoldery look on the outer corners of the eyes. You guys know that I am doing that almost every time I do my makeup. I love that I can get a bunch of different colors and not break the bank. Next, their mascara. So it is the Uber Volume Boost Velvet Mascara. 
So I'm a person, I, I really like a fluffy looking volume. I like almost that like individual lash look with my mascara looks. I don't like heavy volume. I don't like a lot of clumps. I just want my mascara look to be like my lashes look good, not necessarily the mascara looking good, if that makes sense. I wasn't expecting to be as impressed as I was, but this is perfect. Again, if you really love that like fluffy, individual lash look. It's just very lightweight looking volume. It doesn't look super clumpy and absolutely stunning everyday mascara. They also have a brown, which I am looking forward to purchasing the brown because I think brown mascara is very underrated. It'd typically be $30 at retail, but you can get it for $9.28. And lastly, their Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oils. If you've been following my channel for a long time, you know that I am a huge lover of liquid lip balms and this is essentially a liquid lip balm. It doesn't have a really slippy lip oil texture. It is so plush and buttery. The vanilla smell is, is pretty delicious, but still, you know, not overwhelming. I have the shade Spicy Pink, glides so effortlessly. And you can probably tell from the demo, like my lips have been kind of going through it, but this is definitely one of those lip oils where I feel like I'm actually taking care of my lips while giving me a formula that's really elegant. It gives you that really plush, healthy shine without being too sticky. One of the best that I've tried, you guys. It's an incredibly flattering formula. Typically $30 at retail, but you can get it for $8.21. Oh, and one last product that I wanted to mention, the Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand. This is, look, like look at that shine. It gives you that pretty volume to your cheeks. When light hits it, it just is a very natural looking glow. It sets down so it's not very tacky or too emollient on the skin. It doesn't mess with other cream products, which is huge in my book. And it's just a pretty fresh looking glow. Honestly, like there are a lot of cream highlights that do not impress me anymore. Like a lot are too subtle or they're like too much. You can get it for $9.18 when it would typically at retail be 30. I have also tried their silk scrunchies, which I use all of the time. I'm interested in using their neck and chest spray. They're also known for skincare. They have a lot of skincare as well. But if you guys do want to sign up, I will have my discount code linked down below. You can sign up for their membership. I don't think that you guys will be disappointed. I certainly was not. I'm pretty ecstatic with all of these picks. Next up, let's talk about a cheek product that I have really, really been loving. And in an upcoming video, you will also see this product make another appearance. It is the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush Palette. Now, when I saw this go live at Ulta, I immediately picked it up because I'm a huge fan of the Cheek Kiss line from Milani. I like the liquids. I actually prefer, I think, these creams even more. But I was like, wait, are these the same shades or are they different shades? And I swatched these next to the entire Cheek Kiss line because I have all of them. And these are actually new shades. It comes in a palette. So this is incredible for travel because you pretty much have any color that you would need for a bunch of different looks. You can mix and match. I'm wearing this neutral color right here. It blends so beautifully. If you're not familiar with this formula, it's a little bit on the thinner side, but it still has enough grip and enough pop that it blends really beautifully, but it also doesn't want to mess with the other products that you already have on. I could kind of rant about this for a while. I'm gonna try not to, but I don't know what, like what the obsession is with brands wanting to come out with really silicone heavy cream blushes. I'm all for more cream blush formulas, but those formulas in particular, I know they work beautifully for some people, but they don't work well for me. I often find that I can just see the differentiation between the textures on my skin. Oftentimes I'll get patches where the product like just does not want to stick. And this is such a perfect balance between giving me a really thin skin-like cream blush look that also wants to adhere to the skin, that wants to melt in and just look uber skin-like and pretty. Also, I took a little bit of this deeper kind of plummy, cool-toned shade and I used it as like 
a kind of dimensional blush look. If you guys want me to talk more about how to kind of give shape to the face with your blush collection, I would be happy to do that video if you're interested. But yeah, it's safe to say that this formula and this palette is definitely a winner for me. Next, let's talk about some lip liners. These are new from e.l.f. They are the Love Triangle Lip Filler Liner. So the shape of this lip liner is kind of like like a pizza slice of pizza. It's not like completely too angular. It has a curved bottom. And honestly, at first I wasn't sure how I felt about it. I was like, I don't know if this is gonna be difficult to work with, but I used it a couple of times. And then I just noticed that every time I did my makeup, I was reaching for these. So I am wearing the light brown shade with the Beauty Pie lip oil on my lips. Perfect. If you have more fair skin, but you do want a brown lip liner and you just find that they often like look really stark, this shade is beautiful. And in general, I'm just noticing that I always get a really good lip liner look on my lips. It does make it like more user friendly than I was expecting. They're not waxy and stiff. They're not going to, you know, hurt going on the lips, but they're also not too buttery, creamy. It's not like a lipstick applying. I'll probably talk about their lip stains in an upcoming video as well, because I have really been enjoying those too. Another I'll find, I wanted to talk about their new Power Grip Primer. First of all, let me do a quick comparison. Actually, here's the comparison. These are pretty much like the same. So if you already have the Jelly Pop Dew Primer, I don't think you need to go out and buy this one. But I do think that this one is a touch, like a very slightly touch less tacky and slightly more dewy. And this is a little bit more tacky and slightly less dewy. Honestly, if you're someone that just wants to extend the longevity of your makeup, um, I have more dry skin and I find that some of these tacky primers, they just don't work well for me for whatever reason. They can just feel a little bit too sticky and not hydrating enough. If you want to just apply these to some areas, like what I did today with the Power Grip is I put it just around my nose, on my upper lip and on my chin. This is typically the area where I'm like, you know, blowing my nose, eating, touching my face, whatever. And then I'll put it along here where I am wearing my mask, where my mask will typically touch. And this really helps. They're prepping the skin, adding a little bit of that hydration so this area doesn't start to look dry throughout the day. It helps the product adhere and stick to the skin to give you a longer wear. And by the way, like, your skin doesn't remain tacky once you put your foundation on. It's pretty much non-distinguishable, but it's also good too that they're not adding a ton of extra emollients so that's where you're kind of getting that extra longevity punch. This is not a surprise for some of you, but with lip plumpers, I feel like more and more people are talking about lip plumpers. I just gotta throw it out there for you guys. Happy to do like an updated lip plumper video if you guys want to see that. I tried out a ton last year. This is still one of the best formulas on the market. If you are still buying the Too Faced Lip Injection, highly, highly recommend that you try this one out. This is the Physician's Formula Diamond Lip Plumper. And this shade in specific, forget the name, I will leave it linked down below and I'll leave everything linked down below, obviously. But this shade is perfect for that shiny, plump, nude look. It's not too milky. It still has enough translucent. I've talked about this before, but this applicator is bomb because it does have this pretty tip where you can really kind of get into that cupid's bow. And honestly, with a lip plumper, because this does have a bit of a tingle to it, I wouldn't want to get it too much outside of my lip lines. Gorgeous water droplet effect. It really fills in the lip lines. I would say it's kind of like a medium tingle. So it's definitely not like not noticeable. It's not going to be very faint. I actually feel like the tingle is working. You know what I mean? And it smells like a lip plumper. Like it, it doesn't have a really pleasant smell, but it works. You don't notice it after a while either. 
As far as lip plumper formulas that I'm reaching for over and over again, this is the one that I'm always going back to. More people should definitely be talking about this. And I also have the more like iridescent clear shade and that one was a huge favorite of mine last year. So those are a bunch of incredible affordable products that I have been loving. Again, don't forget to let me know down below if there are other products that you really love that you'd like me to try if you think I haven't tried them yet. Thank you so much to Beauty Pie for sponsoring a portion of the video. I will leave the discount code for the membership linked down below for you guys. And as always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one.